Hello and welcome, this is STR8. Today I'm going to play some more Inscription Casey's mod. I'll probably just do one round today. We're going to go with Spicy Pelts, No Clover, and No Hook. And let's get started. I've got about 45 minutes to an hour to uh, give us an attempt, so I'm going to move through pretty quickly because I'm um, hoping to give it Full shot, who knows, we might get lucky and make it all the way to the final boss again. <laughs> so hard. Um, let's see what we can do here. Trading for two. Um, we've got a wolf, bullfrog, and a stoat to start out. So, um, fecundity is kind of nice, but we could take that trait and put it on somebody else. I think that might be a smart idea. And I think getting an elk that could grow up to be stronger or a wolf cub might be a good idea. Um, I'm going to go with the wolf cub since it's stationary. I think that animals that move are a little trickier to use properly. Um, let's see, should we power something up or should we go to the wood carver? I think that powering up something right now doesn't make a ton of sense, so let's just go to the wood carver. Hey, um, rabbit generator. There we go. Once we get a head on that um, totem, that'll be awesome, I think. All right, a skink. Let's um, put something out against it. How about we put the wolf cub on the board and we'll hit next. Okay, there we go. And we should be able to, let's see, we'll get the bullfrog started on this other skink and it'll move out of the way and start attacking its tail. There we go. Okay. Not much left here, I think. There we go. And we'll get us another wolf in play. I think it's going to be over pretty soon. We'll get some good excess damage here because we're going to get plus seven. So let's see, a stoat. Yeah, we don't really need to play that over anybody. So there we go. That's a lot of teeth. Maybe we'll beat our previous teeth record. <laughs> All right. Prospector time. I want to go with the middle. Get us a gold. Yes. That's especially nice considering we had. Um, difficulty with having the higher felt prices. Okay, um, a power-up is now a good time. Um, I'm gonna say it's not, but then going this route to the trapper, when I, mean, I don't have a ton of teeth, seems like a little bit of a waste. Um, so I'll get an upgrade either way, because I don't think I need to go to items twice. Um, hmm. Maybe, maybe I should go here, try to use up an item, and get the items after an upgrade. So who should we give some power? Let's do... How about... How about our bullfrog? Why not? Oh, we lost it. Okay, well we got the bones out of it at least. <laughs> Let's see if we can get some more teeth and make some trades here in a minute. Alright, a busy bee. Um, we do need to try to use up some of our um, stuff, so... I'm going to put the wolf cub over here so it'll take out the stomp in the next turn. Oh, and the cuckoo's coming in. That's always fun. Let's get rid of our bee. And we will get something, one of these other items out here real soon. Okay. Field mice. And we will... Let's see. Guess we need to get something played here. Uh, maybe getting into the stoat in exchange for the field mice. 
There we go. And we'll go ahead and pull a tooth too, just for safety purposes. We need to clear out those items because we're going to get a new bag full of items anyways. Okay. Wolf. Um, I guess we'll just have to keep going. And another squirrel. All right, then. Okay. Didn't get any more teeth, but that's okay. Not a problem. All right, trader. What are we going to do? We need 14. Wow. We can't get a wolf pelt either. So, I'm tempted to say this is by the rabbit pelt, but maybe... Hmm. I'm already halfway to a wolf, so maybe we'll just stick with what we have for now. Okay. So we could get some more items, or we could try for another power-up, and we don't have much power-up, so... Um, but there's another item thing down there, too. It's a whole lot. So, let's see what we get. If we get something really nice, maybe we'll um, retain it, but none of this is too spectacular. We don't even have something that's going to consume bones yet, so. Alright, skink. Let's just get our um, wolf run on the case. We'll make quick work of this match. Okay. Oh, the natter's coming in. I think it will have enough time to turn this around, though, and put too much damage on the board for it to matter. There we go. That's got to be it. And we got a tooth out of it, too. Oh, let's go with the triple blood moose bug. Nice. Time for a couple more items, or at least one. All right, scissors. And a sigil swap. So who do we want fecundity to go to? Or do we want something to get stronger? Our options are moose buck, a wolf, um, field mice. We could do that too. That would be kind of funny to see them get really strong. Or even a stoat. Um, let's see. Don't know who we'd want to put fecundity on. Maybe the wolf cub, since it's only a single blood. Um, it might be nicer. It gets us another wolf on our pack, you know. Okay. Why not? If we get cheaply deployed units that get as strong as a full-grown wolf in just a turn, that's pretty great. Angler time already. There we go. I really like the fecundity returning stuff to us too. Okay. Um, we're gonna need him to have some sort of bait to pull from, so maybe we'll put the golden pelt down on the line. Or the smoke. That works. And we could... We could still put the pelt down and get our wolf cub started. Here we go. Okay, and let's draw. Okay, we're gonna get three baits on the board, bait buckets. So that's always dangerous. Um, could sacrifice out one of the wolves, but hmm, I guess doing airborne attack makes the most sense. 
because that'll put enough on the board to win. Just to add to the power here, we'll put the stoat down too. Ah, apparently if you use the little fan before your card's played, it doesn't apply to your card. That's something I didn't expect or know. Okay. Good. Okay. Ouroboros or Mantis God. Kind of feeling one of those two. Um, perhaps. Hmm. This is a hard choice. Perhaps the Mantis God so that we can take its power and put it on maybe a wolf cub or something so that it does nine attack when it's fully grown. Okay. So we have several items. I'm thinking that we probably won't go the item route, but we'll see. Let's see, wild bull, raven, or an elk. Um, <clears throat> ravens are usually pretty nice, but Hmm. Thinking Wild Bull might be more fitting. I like the raw power of it. Okay. We have, I think, two items in stock, so I think it might be a waste to go there. I don't want to sacrifice for a bone. Um, I mean, I could put out maybe the stoat. However, this doesn't seem like the best option. Um, we have the Pelt Trader and getting something powered up. Let's see about powering up. Because we might be able to do something nice with the Mantis God. Um, getting it to plus two makes it pretty viable as far as three hit points. Or we could wait and um, do a Sigil Swap and put its ability on, say, the Wolf Cub. Um, maybe we could get the Wild Bull a little bit stronger or even the stoat, either of them. Maybe we'll do the stoat. I'm also not afraid to lose it too. There we go. Now the stoat is uh, a goat. Goat stoat. <laughs> Alright. We still haven't completed our totem either yet, so we need to get that going. That'll be um, a problem soon enough if we're not careful. Tended to put the Mantis God down right here in the middle lane so it can attack the Mole and the Raven. And, uh, in fact, I think I'll just go ahead and do that. I'll get us three damage on the board right away. Good. That Raven Egg going over there to the side is nice. Um, let's see. I think we do want to go ahead and draw, and I think that we want to play our stoat in the pathway of the raven that's already established here. That'll whittle it down in a couple turns, along with the uh, mantis god. Okay, and yeah, I think we just continue on from here. Okay, that raven's going to do a little bit of damage, but not a ton. And in fact, we could go ahead and sacrifice our stoat for um, the moose buck. Here we go. Should get a decent amount of damage on this next turn. Ah, oh, rabbit pelt. Okay. Nice. Okay, so there is a sigil swap up there. I don't think I have any duplicates yet. Um, and another trade or opportunity where we could get a card. Um, I do have, let's see, two pelts, including a golden, so I'm tempted to go this way instead. We'll do a sigil swap later, so let's just go ahead and do that. Okay, um, 
Hmm. Well, I think having a black goat in the hand may be a good idea for our higher powered stuff. And. Oh man, it's tempting to get another Mantis God. And it would do six if we combine them together. Or we could use it to spread power to somebody else if we get two sigil swaps. I don't know if I like Child 13 a whole lot just because it becomes airborne during attacking. So I think that having a pack rat to get more items though is really nice. Um, going back and forth between Mantis God and the pack rat. I think I'll get the Mantis God. That way I can do something cool with them later. Okay, let's see. Who should we give power to? How about our stoat? <laughs> now, if we could get um, the mantis god on it with its six health, that would be pretty gnarly. So, six damage and six health. Okay, wow, this is a lot on the board at once. A wild bull, a frozen possum, and a porcupine. So that guy's gonna go over there in the next turn. So maybe we should get something in front of it pretty quickly. Hmm. So wild bulls are tough too, because they can kill each other in the same, whoever attacks first. So that's kind of rough. Funny enough, our stoat can inflict just enough to take it out. So I think it will do that. I should have put it on one lane over though, darn it. Ah, uh, oh well. Hopefully that wasn't a fatal mistake or anything. Hmm. I'm starting to wonder if I should sacrifice it though. Um. I think I should. I think I should sacrifice it and get the wolf down instead. Because that frozen possum is going to help block it anyway, so might as well do this and get rid of it. There we go. Easy peasy. Oh, there's a duplicate event. Too bad I don't think I want to have anything for it. Um, raven egg, mole, and a pronghorn with multi-directional attack and moving. Interesting. Let's take the Raven Egg and we might use it sigil if we have enough sigil, sigil swaps to make it worth it. It's kind of a weird uneven run through I think because I don't want to have anything. I do have the Mantis God. Um, I guess I have to do it. I don't think there's a way to back out. That stinks. I guess I have to do it. At least it's one blood, so if I end up not having a sigil swap event, I'll at least have a mantis god that can do six damage and has some HP viability. Okay. Um, what about putting a... Oh, we could put the black goat down right away. And... Um, get our wild bull on the board so we'll put it here so that it'll have a chance to move in front of the raven um, and survive later on okay and we can put a raven egg in front of a raven egg that would be kind of funny and there we go Okay. Ah, moose bug. It does three damage. I think we're good for now, though. Let's see. Yeah, and our mighty stoat. I think it will go ahead and take it out. All right. <laughs> Perfect. 
Okay. Don't need items that bad. Definitely don't need fungus. Um, now I could use a card duplication to get back our three-way attack. Um, so that would be kind of nice. Let's see. I don't think I want to do the wood carver all that bad. Like I do need to get ahead, but I still have another chance later on. I kind of hate wasting um, a duplication event. So let's just do it this way. All right, turkey vulture. Don't have anything else taking bone, so we still need somebody that consumes it, though. Okay, I'm gonna do the airborne just because sometimes that's a real lifesaver. All right, buddy. Let's see. Hmm. Well, I could duplicate like the wolf cub and. That way, when it gets stronger, it have considerably more HP and stuff. Um, if I can then split them. Or I could do a duplicate of the Mantis God and use one of them. I think I'll do that. And one of them will be a sacrifice for a stronger one, and another one will just remain Mantis God. Three and two. Good. So I'll use the weaker of the two to uh, be a sigil sacrifice. Nice. Okay. Oh, nice. The Mantis God could take out all three of these into Leaping Trap mode um, pretty quickly in just like two turns. That's a use of it that I don't think I'd ever considered before. Okay, and we'll put down smoke so that we can retain some bone. And I guess it's close to it for now. This god is going to be lost on that trap, so I'll need to put something in front of this strange frog in the next turn. Goodbye. Oh, it didn't kill it. I guess it's because it was in a separate lane. Wow, I never knew that that was a possibility with that. Oh, that's cool. I'm definitely going to lose a Mantis God next though, so it'll do ta two damage and then disappear, I believe. Um, so we could get the Raven on the board, or we could get us another Squirrel and just hang out for a minute. Okay, there it goes. Alright, and the Raven is coming in to ruin our day. So. I think that we could put our wolf cub down and our turkey vulture and let's just get another wolf cub down why not and uh, yeah we'll just hang out now okay hopefully the timing works out they'll grow up to be full-blown wolves I'm not exactly sure what happens in this event. Alright. Interesting that this mole has bifurcated attack, but no damage. Um, and then Porcupine is bifurcated, and then Pronghorn has a tail. Hmm. Well, I'm tempted to take elk and the porcupine since that lane is empty um, that would leave us with one more to trade so maybe the bat since it has kiss of death so let's just do this number here okay good and let's play our turkey vulture um, and 
and something against this kink. Maybe we can play our porcupine just to have them on the board. This kink will uh, get hit by it having its uh, spiny quills. Okay. Uh, let's see. Considering putting down our raven egg, I think it may be our best choice. The wolf is going to take out a um, good amount of health on the pronghorn and definitely eliminate that guy, so let's see. Here we go. Excellent. Okay. Two bosses down. What's in the box? Oh, strange larva. Can't resist you. All right. So we have woodcarver opportunity, um, chance to get some teeth exchange and have quite a few. So maybe it'd be worth it at this point. Um, a duplication event to consider. And let's see, what would I get? I could get a a 5-4 Mantis God, if I did that, or I could keep, you know, them separate. I don't see a Sigil swap, unfortunately, so that's kind of tough. I really need a Totem, though, and I'm getting low on options, so maybe I should head this way. I'll be at a strategic disadvantage if I don't get something going. 2 of Ken, 4 of Power, and 3 Sigils. Alright, I think three sigils is a no-brainer here. One, none, aha. Uh -huh. Okay, I guess it wasn't quite as sec secure as I thought it was. I should have probably counted them all up a little bit better. <laughs> Alright, for Kennedy, um, or going stronger, but then I would have to get ahead. Um, let's see, what insects do we have? I think it's strange larva fits into that, but then we had the mantis god gods, I should say. And huh. Maybe I should do that. That's not fecundity, but rabbits, rather. Um, we'll at least get that and then we'll check out whatever comes in the next one. Good. Oh boy, we're going to be generating a lot of stuff here. So we could get them down on either side and in one turn and this game will be over really quickly. Should put the more powerful one down. Um, so that was my bad, but it's okay. It'll make up for being on that weird spot. I think it's already game over anyways. Yeah, the teeth cup runneth over. That was no contest, wow. All right, give me a gold pelt. 20 for it. I think the price has been up since I last visited. All right, we'll just take what we can get. All right, what do we have? Okay, well, airborne. Definitely isn't as good, so let's see. We have one, two, three insects and two wolves. So I think keeping the insect head makes most sense, but we'll take the canine head too, just in case it uh, makes we get another card and it makes more sense later. Okay, I don't see a sigil swap, so we gotta go this fight other way. Let's just go ahead and go into it. 
and we have three autumns. All right, um, porcupine, a rabbit, and a coyote. We can park our strange larva here in the middle, I think, and maybe put a rabbit down in front of the coyote just to block the damage. Um, and we'll do a rabbit pelt over there as well. Okay. Um, wow, sitting in a barrage of coyotes, huh? So, the Mothman should be able to block it all, I think, ultimately, but we'll just block a little bit more damage here. We're going to get three on us. Um, I think we're okay. Alright, Mothman. Can we turn this around? Um, I'm not sure. Now that I see how things are going. Well, it is airborne, so it's going to get plus 7, and these are only going to get plus 5. Um, so, it should turn it around. Thank goodness for airborne. There we go. Now I can just collect squirrels until we have enough to play something else. I don't think it's going to matter because we're going to win anyways. Sweet. Alright, I'm good on the items. Um, I do need to trade pelts, so let's go this way. Okay, um, let's go with the doggy. Another wolf cub, excellent. Maybe we'll get them combined up and mega powered here in a minute. Alright, I want to go with this and I think putting it on our mantis gods makes the most sense, so we're going to do that. Um, this is a great combination, I think. It'll keep even the, if we get a, another weak insect, it'll keep them strong and viable. Oh, I've got hiccups, apparently. Alright. Mantis God, here we go. Um, I think it, it can be put to maybe right here, and I mean, it's going to win the match right away anyways, so I think it's game over. That's six damage. Nothing to do. <laughs> I'm going to stay calm and don't get too cocky because that was just too awesome. Alright, we need something that consumes bone, I think. Um, coyote is a little bit rough. Cockroach would be something. Um, having another wolf cub, you know, in the event of a duplicate event would be cool, but I'm not going to have time. At least I don't think that there was one on my way um, to the boss, so I need to choose carefully here, I think. Um, card counter. Let me look up what this one means. Okay. This is the card counter one. Sure, we'll just uh, skip it for now. Let's do corpse maggots. And how about another wolf cub? I'm gonna go for raw strength. Um, oh, hi. Thanks for following. So, Symbiote 72. Nice to meet you. Uh, let's see. A ringworm. Um, late in the game for that. A wild bull that could lay an egg. That's pretty funny. Um, magpie with corpse eater and hi symbiote uh, another turkey vulture interesting so let's see oh this is tough I think I'll do the mantis 
since we have the growing ability. Here's a fungus event, so let's see what we can put together. Alright, we could get a really strong Mantis God um, or a Wolf Cub combo. I think we'll do the Wolf Cub combo and we will put one of the two Mantis Gods powers on probably this Wolf Cub. Um, I think that's like our smartest play overall. So we will put the weaker Mantis God on it, as a matter of fact, which is this one. And then we will select our other Wolf Cub. Oh, it looks like it's not going to allow us. Um, at least they weren't in the draw. So, hmm, that's kind of annoying. The Stoat being only one blood though, we get six damage and has six defense as well. So, a oh man, an omnidirectional attack, strange larva. That would be wild. Um, I guess we'll go with the stoat. Here we go. It's uh, one of the most interesting uses of the stoat I've had so far. Alright, next boss. Okay. This is always such a hard one because the uh, phase with them making all my cards into gold. Um, so we need to get something in front of the wolf. I think that smoke makes sense and we could get us a wolf cub that's uh, going to get strong right here and call that a turn. Okay, our wolf cub should take things on on its own, um, and that'll get us to phase two, so we can lay something else down after that. Um, I'm trying to think of the damage that's going to be done. I can't remember if they'll attack or not going into the next phase, but we'll see. Okay. There we go. So I think putting the wolf cub in front of the pack mule makes a lot of sense. Um, but let's go ahead and draw a card first. And we can actually almost play both, but unfortunately, Strange Larva would die right away to the wolf. Um, and same thing with the wolf cub. So let's just put this here for now and we will put something in front of the wolf um, to block the damage while our strange larva grows up. Okay. And our, let's see, our situation hasn't really improved a whole lot. So let's just um, block damage once again and our bloodhound will, or the bloodhound will take two damage on us, but our Mothman should be ready next turn. So, three damage actually. There we go. Okay, Mothman is gonna turn around a good bit. It's gonna be split even. So we need to play something on the board. I think maybe the Wolf Cub um, can do it. And let's put down if we put it down in front of the wolf, it'll take it out and be stronger, so I think that'll that'll work. So we're gonna get one four damage, but the Mothman is gonna do seven because it's um, air based. I'm pretty sure since it's airborne, that doesn't affect the pack mule card. Okay, good. I was counting on that. <laughs> I wasn't positive. So, 
Okay, good. And we just keep playing. So Mothman should win the game, though, right away, I think. I don't think there's anything left for us to do here. Okay. Good. Time for the final boss. Interesting. I'm going to go with the pack rat so that maybe we can have a fourth item during our final boss fight. Okay. I think I'm happy with our totem situation. Um, trading in for... Um, Let's see, we need teeth to get pelts, and then pelts to get cards, and we don't have any pelts, unfortunately. So that doesn't make sense. Um, getting items doesn't make sense, so really the only thing that looks viable is either a sigil or um, woodcarver. So let's take a look at our sigils, see what we have. Um, we could maybe put the mantises you know, bifurcated strike on something else, or maybe the raven eggs growing stronger on the mantis. That'd be an interesting combination. Um, let's see, what else could we get? Hmm. I think putting the raven eggs timer thing on something else would make a lot of sense or perhaps a wolf cub they're just a little bit weak when they start unfortunately the corpse maggots ability on something strong like the stoat sounds like a good idea I want to do that it might be a horrible idea but we'll try it it's kind of a wild card proposition um, let's see how about on the turkey vulture instead well it's the only thing it consumes bone hmm so maybe maybe I could do it anyways because it has higher defense too all right we'll do it they're kind of hard to use otherwise, so might as well get it, get it going. Hopefully that was a good choice. Alright, let's use up all of our items and take it move by move. All right, an amalgam is coming in, so we could put our mantis down and take it out in, I guess, two turns since it'll grow stronger and block its advance with the smoke. So we can also get our moose buck attacking things as well. Um, for now, I think having the mantis down makes the most sense. And we'll call it. Oh, wow, Mantis becomes a Mantis God when it grows up. I had no idea. Well, that's fantastic. I didn't get uh, any more strength, though, so I didn't realize it was going to be that way. Huh. Um, and we've got our um, prospector waiting to bash us, so I'm trying to think of... I guess getting this would make a lot of sense and cutting his amalgam card because of its high HP might be wise. And um, Mantis God is going to hit Mole Man, Mole Man, Mole Man, and it's going to have one HP left. 
So I think this is all we better do while the prospector is sitting out waiting to hear our cards. Yep. Okay. All right. What can we do now? We can get us a moose buck playing, um, and it would do three hit a turn. So we've got an amalgam that is going to come in soon. Would be a problem. Hmm. Let's draw this guy, and what do we get? A wolf cub. So. I guess we should put our moose spike down to start getting that damage on the board or else we're going to run into some troubles. And that's really about all we can do for the moment. There's no way I was going to win that one. That was um, really tough. I'm surprised that I didn't have at least one of my really nice cards in that initial draw. So I'm not sure if I could have done any better with what I had because I didn't have um, anything to use the bones from that little pig from, nor did I have, let's see, a good reason to use the airborne fan man that was just bad luck I, I feel like i had a really good hand similar to our last um playthrough and unfortunately just didn't really get to flex it so we'll have to try again next time well thanks for watching this has been s tier rank you can follow me on twitch and twitter at s tier rank i replay to up on youtube soon and thanks to my new follower symbiote 72 all right have a good day